So, come on, don't tell me you haven't stared at your dog and thought, dude, what's going on in that head of yours? Or wondered if dolphins are just humans with fins and better social lives? Today, we're diving straight into the wild and sometimes weird world of animal psychology where your goldfish might actually be smarter than your houseplant. Let's go. Okay, so first up, good old Charles Darwin. The guy not only gave us the theory of evolution, he also got everyone questioning if animals are secretly mini-geniuses just hiding opposable thumbs. Then came George J. Remains, who pretty much said, Look, I've got a stack of wild animal stories and I'm convinced animals can think. He collected tales of dogs opening gates and parrots outsmarting their owners. The dude was basically the first animal TikTok curator, but with more Victorian vibes. He figured animals solved problems on purpose, not just by accident. But hold up, not everyone was on board. Enter C. Lloyd Morgan, a guy with way more skepticism and way fewer wild animal stories. He was like, hey, um, maybe let's not give animals too much credit without good proof, yeah? He came up with what's basically the ultimate animal behavior rule, Morgan's canon. Translation, if a hamster does something kind of smart, maybe don't jump straight to Einstein. Maybe it's just regular old learning. Fast forward a bit and you've got Edward L. Thorndike, who took things next level with actual experiments, not just stories. He built these weird little puzzle boxes for cats and made them work for their dinner. Through lots of trial and error, and honestly a lot of very confused cats, he found that animals remember stuff that gets them a treat. Mess up, try again, do it right, get a reward. Honestly, not that different from humans and coffee loyalty cards. Thorndike's experiments kicked anecdotal story time to the curb. Now it's all numbers, stats, actual data, the nerds win. Thanks to his work, the humble lab rat became the superstar of psychology experiments. Sorry, cats, you had your shot. Oh, and don't sleep on Margaret Floy Washburn. She smashed the glass ceiling with a PhD before that was even a thing and wrote The Animal Mind. She's basically the OG for saying, yeah, animals probably actually have feelings, and here's how we can prove it. Science style, queen behavior, well... So next time your dog gives you that derpy head tilt, or your cat hypes up for a midnight zoomy, just remember... There might be more going on in there than you think. Are we really that different, or are we just hairless weirdos with smartphones? Not gonna lie, the journey from random stories to full-on lab research changed the game. Digging into animal minds isn't just about understanding them, it actually tells us a whole lot about why humans act the way we do too. So, what's your take? Are animals absolute geniuses we're just finally catching up to? Drop your wild stories or hot takes in the comments. I wanna hear them. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to keep hanging out here at RNDM Wisdom Bites. Don't just sit there, go see what your pet's up to. Until next time, stay curious, my dudes.